Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how you can use Microsoft Bing's Image Creator to generate some images using OpenAI's new DALI 3 model. Now as you see here, it actually says powered by DALI 3, but I have a different Microsoft account and here when I log in, it still says powered by DALI. This means they're still rolling it out gradually and if yours still says powered by DALI, you might not have DALI 3 yet. Now, if you don't know what DALI is, it's an AI model from OpenAI which allows you to generate images from text descriptions. Now, if this is your first time to my channel, I want to welcome you and recommend you to go to one of my old videos where I introduce Microsoft Bing's image creator right here so you can know how to use this tool effectively. Now, OpenAI introduced DALI last year and they came up with an updated model called DALI 2. And most recently, they came out with DALI 3, which understands significantly more nuance and detail than their previous systems. So I'm really excited to try out image generation using DALI 3 right here. Before I get started, I do want to recommend you to subscribe to my AI newsletter linked to my description, where I'm going to start sending out prompts that I use myself and AI tools that I'm building. Now all you need to access the image creator is to go to bing.com slash create and log in with your Microsoft account. Now if you are stuck on ideas, you can go to Dali 3's blog post and click on any of these images. They all have the prompts that they used mentioned right here. I'm personally going to work with my own prompts and progressively add different things to see how Dali 3 reacts to them. So to get started, I'm going to say a uh, Norwegian man with a stern expression on his face and click create all right i have an image of a norwegian man with a stern expression on his face and the quality here looks pretty darn good now you might be wondering if you can change the dimensions of this picture well currently bing image creator does not allow you to do that if you click customize right here, that actually opens Microsoft Designer where you have to manually edit the dimensions of the picture. Alright, now I'm going to add one more detail to this image. Now most image generators struggle with putting words on the image themselves. So I'm going to say wearing a t-shirt which says blue steel. Alright, it seems to be struggling with the spelling of the word blue steel. The quality of the image is still pretty good, but it did not quite get that word right. Alright, I'm going to keep progressing on that image and this time I'm going to add a new character. So I'm going to say holding hands with a Nigerian woman with a smile on her face. Alright, I have two new images which seems to have fixed my previous problem and given me quite a good result. So I have a Norwegian man with a stern expression, which is correct, and I have him wearing a shirt which says blue steel, which it got correct this time, and he is holding hands with a Nigerian woman with a smile on her face. The only issue I see in this picture is the number of fingers right here, which you see if you count it, it's six. Now since the last generation was black and white, I tried the prompt again and this time it came with some very unique generations. In one of them, the shirt actually got replaced on the Nigerian woman and it still says blue steel with the correct spelling. I also like the variation of the sternness of the faces as you see from the different images. Let me try adding some words on the t-shirt of the Nigerian woman this time. I'm going to say wearing a yellow t-shirt which says African fire. Alright, I have another image of a Norwegian man with a Nigerian woman and this time I got both the spellings correct on their t-shirt so I'm getting more and more impressed by this. Alright, let me add some more information and this time let me add a celebrity and see what happens. With Eddie Murphy standing in the background. Alright, I don't quite think that looks like Eddie Murphy nor this one. <laughs> Alright, we have now the Norwegian man holding hands with Eddie Murphy instead of the Nigerian woman. I don't know how close this is to Eddie Murphy but it's getting more and more closer and there's a lot of fire in the background for some reason. But if you were confused, it does say the word Eddie Murphy right on his shirt right there. Alright, I'm gonna remove Eddie Murphy and add some animals and see what happens. 
I'm gonna say with a reindeer and tiger in the background in a deep jungle all right we have some more unique generations this time we have a Norwegian man with a reindeer and a tiger holding hands with a white woman I think this one came out quite good with the stern expression the words blue steel I think there's the word African mentioned twice but we have a reindeer in the background and a tiger all right now for the last prompt I'm gonna have them dining together with a mix of Norwegian and Nigerian food and I want to see how Dali 3 reacts to that eating at a restaurant which serves a mix of Norwegian and Nigerian food. Now I'm really excited for the results of this because sometimes AI can give you surprisingly good results. Alright we have our final image. I can't quite tell what kind of cuisine this is. This kind of looks like couscous so maybe this is more Nigerian and this looks like a bunch of meat. Maybe that's Norwegian. And we have fries. I don't know what kind of cuisine that is here. And we have no words on this t-shirt and we have African fire written here. And she seems to be quite happy at this restaurant. We have another image of them in the restaurant and I like that they still have their hands holding the whole time even though there's some issues with their fingers as you see here they seem to be sitting a bit closer but there's issues with the words and finally we have two of them with a better image of the actual food I have a feeling this looks more Nigerian and this looks more Norwegian I don't know if they eat that much fries but for some reason he aged quite a bit here I wonder why but if you think purely by prompt details, we have the words blue steel correctly. We have the words African fire correctly. Actually, there's two eyes here, I see. She's smiling, he has a stern expression. We have Norwegian food and we have Nigerian food and they're holding hands. So as you see, Dali 3 is quite good at generating images with quite a lot of details. All right, that's all the prompts I have for you today. Hope you had fun watching this video and seeing how the different kinds of prompts and details generate AI images using Microsoft Bing's image creator using Dolly 3. Now, if you did get some value from this video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. And also make sure to subscribe to my AI newsletter. I have a lot more videos coming up. Till the next one, thank you so much.